Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another episode of Bob's and Angel C Block and it's an ambitious one, an ambitious episode today because we want to create a whole new area uh, doing our uh, doing our production of slag into liquefiers, into everything. So it's, uh, yeah, we're basically going to be reproducing all of this uh, and trying to trying to uh, make it a little tighter, a little nicer, and we're going to need a lot of landfill to do it. All right, uh, we have we have on us uh, electrolyzers two. We have 24, and uh, we've still got another 19. Uh, ooh, look at that, 500 steel. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, research has stopped. We'll, uh, we'll get that in a second. Let's just get the rest of these uh, 19 electrolyzers if we can. Uh, ooh, we can only do one. Uh, what are we missing? Clay bricks. All right. Let's uh, let's go get that. If we need 18 more of these, we're going to need uh, 18 times 15 is about 300, uh, or is it 3,000? 18 times 15 is uh, yeah 300. Uh, so where's our clay bricks? They're over yonder. Uh, we'll grab two of those. All right. Uh, that gives us 12. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll uh, we'll get the rest. It's steel. It's steel. It's always steel. Steel is such a uh, such a problem for us. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's grab also these yellow belts. We're going to need them. Uh, we're probably going to need some more inserters. I would suggest. I'm not in the yellow belt area. That's ridiculous. Uh, here it is. All right. So let's grab. Uh, let's grab all of that. Let's grab. Uh, uh, maybe just one stack of those, and uh, and we'll see how we go with the rest of it. All right. To begin, to begin, let's uh, let's make this big. Let's make this big, and uh, we're going to start. We're going to give ourselves lots of space. We're going to give ourselves lots of space. So actually, let's make this nice and small, and uh, let's just run over here for a bit. And uh, I think this is where we're going to start it. This is where we're going to start it. All right. Uh, that's too big. We can't actually can't actually create that. I want to make it big enough that I can run along and put it down there. That's it. All right. So let's do something like this. And what do, what do we say? Uh, I can't remember. There we need 40 of these to fill up a belt. We need 40 of these to fill up a belt. Uh, so we're going to do four by ten or five by eight. That was the question, wasn't it? Uh, I think I think four by ten is just going to be a little bit nicer. Uh, thanks to, to just for the belting arrangement of it. Uh, so let's grab our electrolyzers too and think about how this is going to work. All right, we're going to need obviously piping. Uh, that is fairly important. Uh, we're going to need inputs and outputs. Uh, we are going to need... We're going to need belts. Uh, the input, I think, is... Well, we're not going to be able to share... Let's share outputs, I think. Uh, that's actually going to be, believe it or not, it's going to be easier to share outputs than inputs uh, because of the way uh, the way we're going. So one, two, three, four, five. We need to double that. We need to double that. Let's, uh, let's go about doing that. Is that far enough? Uh, not quite. Oh, man, we got very close, didn't we? Very close. Right, one more. One more level, uh, and then that is it. Uh, Width-wise, we'll uh, we'll figure that one out just in a minute. All right. Uh, so we will need uh, we will need this to. Oh, we can't. We can't. Okay. I'm just thinking like we can't share outputs because when you rotate these, the the wrong gases, the wrong gases appear. Um, all right. So we do something like this, and uh, this is the input is going to be water. Uh, but, 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 uh, how are we going to, how are we going to do this with a belt? Um, maybe, maybe we put a belt down the middle here and then have the next one, the next one like this with another separate row of water. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's the, uh, that's the goal. Um, so, whew, man, let's, uh, let's pop down uh, a few of these. There we go. All right. Then we'll uh, we'll start copying some of these just so that we uh, 
just so that we have uh, have the way it's going to set up. Uh, I don't like I don't like that. We kind of want to mirror. I'm going to mirror it just so it's, it's just so it looks nice. It looks pretty uh, like that. And let's grab one of those. Ah, okay, we need to grab one of these. Uh, that's a problem. I didn't didn't set that up properly. All right, we'll do that. Uh, you go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. All right. Lots of uh, lots of this is going to be uh, needed. Okay. We've got six more left. Uh, we're not going to get we're not going to get the full uh, the full setup here just yet. Uh, I thought I had more than this. Oh no, there we go. We had another stack. Okay. All right. So our plan uh, is definitely not that too. Uh, actually, you know what? We can get away with this because this is going to be enough to fill. Uh, Twenty of these will fill a uh, one of these belts. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and we'll deal with the products. Yeah, we'll deal with the water and the gases up the top with it up the top yeah I think that's gonna be the go uh, that's gonna be the go I like it actually yeah if we deal with it up the top then it just saves space for all the production we want to do down the bottom down the bottom all right let's get uh, let's get you guys all connected up we'll just get one side going first uh, and figure it out from there all right, and then uh, yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have a little bit of water coming up here. Um, I'm thinking we can probably do that. Uh, I believe I've got one of these, don't I? Uh, we can also do that. Uh, and uh, we don't have any we don't have the underground pipes set up. Uh, there we go. Okay, like that and like that. So there we go. Now you have water, which you can start uh, electrolyzing for us. Um, We'll, we're gonna need power poles in here somewhere. Uh, what's going on here? Have I? I have. Okay, we've uh, we've used too many of these. We've used too many of these because that actually goes up to there. And then uh, we don't need you. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. There we go. There we go. Connected. Get rid of you. Connected. Okay, there. That's better. That's better. 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 Bar. Everyone's got water. Um, Let's uh, get you electrolyzing. Is there a better electrolyzing? Uh, one every four seconds. That's every two seconds, but it needs electrolyzer electrodes, which we don't really want to stuff around with. Um, okay, so let's copy you, copy you. Uh, we're gonna need to put in uh, something up here as well. All right, we'll, uh, we'll sort that one out just in a minute. All right, let's uh, manually put all these in. Man, this is really where robots would uh, would be pretty lovely, wouldn't it? Uh, I could also pause the video, of course, but you know, while I've got interesting things to say, like how annoying it is not have robots, we might as well keep going. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's do some quick math. So we've got uh, we've got ten of these in a row. Uh, we've got ten of these in a row. They're each producing uh, every four seconds. 40 hydrogen so that's 10 hydrogen a second these have a crafting speed of one and a half so that's 15 uh each one is producing 15 hydrogen a second which is 150 hydrogen a second uh what can a flare stack actually do uh let's let's double check that shall we mm, hydrogen gas your final result emptying where's the voiding where's the voiding recipe uh, uh, maybe if I did its usage. Um, usage. There we go. Chemical void. Uh, it does a hundred in half a second, so it does two hundred a second. Two hundred a second a flare stack can do. Good to know. Um, we're doing one hundred and fifty hydrogen, so we're basically going to need a flare stack for everything uh, uh, for each row, uh, which makes sense. All right. So let's make two flare stacks over here, and. Let's think about how they can actually fit in here. Uh, probably not like that. Let's just make it a decent size. All right, uh, two flare stacks here. One needs to go there and one can go there. That'll work. All right, uh, now we need some power poles. 
Uh, we also need some of these guys. Because this, after all, this is kind of uh, the whole purpose of this, is to get something on this belt. Uh, so if we have the inserters doing this, we should be able to get these guys doing that. Maybe. Uh, this is a problem, isn't it? There and somewhere. There. Don't need you. Uh, all right. So this should now all be connected. We need to obviously run some power uh, along here as well. We might as well make this a bit wider and then we can run some transmission lines. Uh, we might as well uh, put it up. Do I have any transmission lines? I don't. Ah. Uh, that's, that's a sad thing. Can we make a few of them? Uh, we can make two. Well, that doesn't really seem worth it, does it? Let's just put a bunch of these because, uh, you know what, I'm lazy. It's definitely, uh, as an electrical engineer that uh, did do power engineering, uh, probably heavy losses. Probably heavy losses. Uh, okay, that's a problem. Uh, that That is a problem. So how far can one of these reach? Uh, basically, they're there. All right, let's uh, rip some of these out and think about how this is going to work. Uh, so that and that. That and that. And then that and that. Does that connect up? It does. All right. All right, guys. We, uh, we're we working on design. We're working on a design. It's all right. Just got to get it right. Uh, there, there, and there. Uh, that last one didn't quite go where we wanted it to. Uh, I think I put in an extra power pole. I did. And get in these couple of guys. Alright, so you're now working, you're working, you're working. Uh, you're not working because you've got an excess of stuff that has no power. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the other stuff has no power because... You go there, you go there, and uh, where will this one go? There. All right. And now we can burn it off, and now we're making, making good stuff. All right, I am going to uh, I'm going to pause the video, and we're going to put in uh, the rest of these. Um, let's just have a quick check on our steel production, and see if we can make the final. Uh, what do we got? We need another twenty. We just need three more. Is that right? We just need three more? I think so. Uh, should be able to do it with that, shouldn't we? Uh, do, 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 do. One, two, three. And that'll give us another 20, uh, which we can put next to it. Yeah, all right. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. And yeah, I'm, I'm just going to pause it. I'll put all that together, and then we'll come back, and we'll think about how we're going to use this. I think that's a great idea. All right, be back momentarily all right and it is done look at this we have uh we have 40 electrolyzer twos 40 electrolyzer twos each producing uh one slag one and a half slag a second uh one and a half slag every four seconds uh 15 slag a second oh man that was um uh, that was took a little bit longer than i was anticipating but you know uh so be it uh, let's just quickly though, I just want to check, uh, let's have a look at our, um, our rise here. So, uh, no, nothing, it, a lot of these aren't working because it took a while, these ones are filled up, yeah. So, we'll have to wait till we get this up and running to see the, uh, the exact results here. So, now that we have 15 of these a second, we can support, uh, we can support some of this. So, each one of these uses... Uh, let's just check its crafting speed is, whoa, 2.25. I don't think I calculated that last time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to need my calculator for this one. So, 2.25 is the crafting speed. Uh, let's get the calculator going. Um, so, it is currently doing using 5 in 3 seconds. So, 5 divided by 3 is 1.66 a second multiplied by 2.25. Uh, means that it uses 3.75 a second. Nice number. Uh, 15 divided by 3.75 gives us exactly 4. Um, how interesting. How interesting. This only supports 4. Yeah, we've got all these operating. Is that because uh, they're not getting enough in? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, so we can get rid of these two and put in uh, just basically uh, second inserters to uh, speed this up and we should be able to use up all of all of it uh, and yeah look at that it's totally correct okay wow that's um that's good to know all right we'll grab those um, this piping can be recovered uh, this piping can also kind of be recovered we need to actually put this back in though uh, ah sulfuric acid got to remember we've got to make some sulfuric acid uh, we've probably got enough though uh, what's the usage of this it's uh, it's okay it's three times the amount of slag uh which is going to be 45 a second uh can this produce 45 a second this can produce 30 a second uh with a crafting speed of 1.75 that's enough it's enough uh if this has all the materials it needs we'll we'll be fine okay uh so we now need uh we've got two liquefier twos we need two more we need two more liquefiers uh, where where are they? Are they in the petrochem? Uh, liquefier. Liquefier threes. Ooh. Uh, concrete. Uh, it's, it's quite a jump. It's quite a jump. Uh, but we'll we'll stick with these. I don't think we want to go down the concrete brick path just yet. So we'll have four liquefiers. So four liquefiers are producing. Uh, again, I need the calculator. So each one of these, uh, 3 is 50 divided by 3, uh, which is 16.67 uh, slag slurry a second. Multiplied by 2.25 is 37.5. Multiplied by 4 of them is 150. So we're going to be producing 150 slag slurry a second. Okay, so each one of these with a crafting speed of 1.5. These are filtration units 1. We've only got access to 1s, I think. Uh, let's just double check that. Uh, yes, filtration ones uh, with a crafting speed of 1.5. So they are using, in four seconds, they're using 50 slag slurry, uh, which is not quite that much. Uh, so 50 divided by 4 is 12.5 a second, multiplied by 1.5 is 18.75. 150 divided by 18.7. Five gives us eight. Wow. Um, so we'll have uh, four of these supporting eight of these. Currently, we've only got six here, uh, but we'll uh, we'll get our ratio better on on the new setup. So there's eight filtration units. All right. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else we need? Uh, it's just slag into liquefiers. We'll get the sulfuric acid over there. Uh, we've actually got a line coming over here ish already. Um, yeah, all right. All right, slag. Uh, if if we're using four liquefiers, we can actually feed two liquefiers off each of these, can't we? Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, that's an interesting little tidbit of information, isn't it? Um, so, liquefiers. Uh, if what's a nice idea for this? What about something? Like that. Does that spacing work out? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, so you're making slag slurry from slag. And uh, we're going to bring the slag in down here. Uh, you know what might, might be a nice little uh, thing is if we do this. This might look nice. Uh, we'll have to move these up one. Uh, and go there. There. Got that gap in the middle there, which is a little bit of a killer. Uh, okay, and then we can do... Uh, no, I actually needed them where they were. Oh, man. All right. All right, we learned our lesson. Um, there we go. One down. Because what I forgot is we need to have we need to have pipes going here, and we need to have pipes going here, and we're out of pipe. All right, probably should have expected that. We are burning through a lot of it at the moment. Uh, ooh, we're out of uh, we're out of copper in there. Let's. Uh, oops, I got I got a little bit on me. Let's, uh, let's drop a bit more in there, and we'll get uh, we'll get that pipe going. I might as well grab some more. Uh, we better see how our iron situation is. We got three k iron and nine k copper. All right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to 
turn these guys back on. Uh, Alt D, Shift, Shift, turn that. Yep, there we go. All right. So now we'll get our iron back up and running because uh, we are actually getting a little bit low now that we're using them all. Uh, let's just turn all of that copper into pipes. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Uh, if we turn all that copper into pipes, we'll be happy. That was the wrong, wrong way around. Uh, okay. We need to get sulfuric acid. We need to get sulfuric acid on uh, on this line here. Uh, this line here. I'm just going to. I'm just going to put this in like this so that we know where it is. We've got landfill to landfill to spare. Uh, that's the line we need to get the sulfuric acid in on. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's grab some more of these. I think uh, we don't have many of them, but. It'll do. Uh, now, where was the sulfuric acid? There it is there. Uh, there it is there. Uh, this could work. Again, we're going to uh, pull these out. I will use them. I will use them again, I swear. Um, and then we'll bring this across like... Oh, man. Uh, that's, I'm surprised that worked. Okay. And there's some sulfuric acid. Jump across there. Get this going to... Get this going to there, and then we'll start this one here. All right, there we go. We've got sulfuric acid coming in. Excellent, excellent. All right, uh, that's not gonna not gonna fly. There we go. We've got sulfuric acid coming in. We've got the slag slurry being made. We got that hooked up. Now we just need our inserters. Inserters. Uh, I should really make some fast inserters, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Just to, just to make it a little bit nicer. There we go. And you're all picking up from back there. And then, of course, we need to get some power down here. Uh, something like that is pretty handy. Drop you in there. Let's make that wiring a little bit better. Um, yeah. All right. We now have uh, we now have some slag slurry. Uh, I'm going to put in not a petrochem oil tank because that is a massive overkill. Uh, let's just see if we can make a uh, regular. I don't like the all corner ones. I think they're a bit ugly, uh, even though they're probably better for piping. But uh, we're just going to pop you here for now, just to give you a little bit of a buffer. Uh, a little bit of a buffer. A little bit of a buffer. Why? Uh, why? What have I done? Oh, that's what I've done. All right. And let's see if you're working fast enough. Yep, they're working fast enough. All right, we can get rid of... No, can't get rid of that one. Uh, i got a bit, of, uh, a bit of stuff in there we can drop in. And we're away. All right, so now we are... Now we are what? What's going on here? Um, why aren't you working? Uh, you're not working because I actually didn't finish... Um, didn't finish hooking this up. All right. My bad. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Let's just... One little area that I forgot. But it's... We're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Uh, Alright. So once we've got this, our next problem is uh, is filtration. Our next problem is filtration. Uh, you also see I just shared the one water pump. I didn't make multiple water pumps. But we could have shared, probably got down to three stacks as well. But I think this is just neater. It's easier to have a stack each. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're pretty much using the whole thing. That's not really backing up at all, is it? Uh, no, it is not. Ah, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And uh, slag, sorry, through the roof. It's through the roof. All right, so next up, we need to, uh, we need to do some kind of, uh, some kind of filtration, don't we? We need to, we need to do eight. Eight of these. All right, and they're a little bit bigger. They are a little bit bigger. Uh, I, I built them, didn't I? There they are. All right. So if that's our center point... Um, we actually need to go down one more. I uh, probably should have gone two because, uh, you know, space. Space and all that. Uh, okay, let's pop in, uh, let's pop in these filtration units. And, uh, let's just have a little check on what they actually need. Uh, because I, now that I think about it, I think they don't just need slag slurry, do they? Uh, no, that's it. They also need purified water and charcoal. Alright, so we are going to need uh, significantly more space. Significantly more space. Alright, alright. Uh, we're going we're gonna to loop these. We're going to loop these. Yes, we are. Uh, so, we're going to need a belt and then two lots of... 
why am I why am I reinventing the wheel when this is actually a really nice setup here? This is actually a really nice setup. Uh, let's bring this over and plonk it on in. Okay, and then we just need uh, we actually need another we need another line down. Oh, I made too much. Got to make it square. Got to make it square. All right. Uh, paste that in like that. We'll uh, get rid of these metal uh, iron pipes. Uh, so we do that, we do that, we do that, we do that. You're doing that, you're doing that, and you're doing that. All right. Uh, yeah, that, that'll go that way, that'll go that way. You are inputting the... Um, what are they? Um... Filters, filters, and you're outputting the empty filters. Nice. All right, we've got sulfuric wastewater and purified water. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can handle that. Uh, now, how big does this need to be? One, two, uh, and then this needs to be that width again. And then we're also going to need to put some uh, filtering processing uh, on the outside. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that. And I'm not gonna, we're not going to spread that one out. Uh, you guys all go like that. All right. And then on this end here, we also need to make... Um, we need to put in our production of uh, filters. Like this. Okay. And you will need a box of, uh, of of charcoal, yes. All right, and you are making uh, you're making charcoal filters. All right. Okay. Okay. This is uh, this is pretty good. I'm 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 down with it. I'm down with it. Uh, let's get these power poles in. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just didn't hear that one click. There we go, and then we'll pop another one right there. All right, all right. Uh, again, again, we're out of pipe. And how are we doing for time? Uh, yeah, we're okay for time. A couple more minutes, a couple more minutes. We'll go grab some more pipe, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, there's some more pipe. Uh, I really should uh, really should put the uh, copper pipe while well, while we're using it all. I should put it in there. All right. Let's get this going. Do it behind me just to get in the practice. Never do pipe in front of you if you don't have squeak through because you can't walk through it. Uh, but I do have squeak through, so it's okay. And then these ones. Oh man, we're going to have some fun with this sulfuric wastewater. Uh, we'll feed it back in to make sulfuric acid, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's that is the plan. All right. Uh, apparently I missed one. It's easy, easy to do when you're trying to do all this piping. Uh, it's uh, very, very easy to do. All right. Unfortunately, yeah, this is this is why I paused it while I was doing it uh, before because I don't really uh, have the brain power to uh, click, click frequently and accurately and talk at the same time, which is not uh, not for the best viewing. But anyway, there's uh, there's our production. Uh, of all this stuff, of all this stuff, I don't know if I, have, I'm gonna have to check uh, if we're gonna. Well, hey, we don't have enough belt, but whether that belt's actually gonna be quick enough to move the number of filters that we're gonna need. An interesting question. Um, let's grab. Uh, you know what? Turns out these uh, these yellow belts were not actually needed. Uh, let's grab all of those belts. There's probably other things that we'll need, but you know we're pretty close to we're pretty close to where we need to be at this point. Uh, you're going the wrong way. All right, there we go. Uh, these can, yeah, you can just click and drag there because they can't go anywhere else. We're using this space really well. Using this space really well. That was totally wrong, wasn't it? And now they're now they're pointing the wrong way. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, paste those in there. Did I put these ones in the wrong way? Uh, no, they're in the right way. Good, good, good. Uh, but when I put them in, they lost their configuration. I thought that was supposed to stay with the ghosts. It's fine. There we go. All right. So this setup now is working. It needs some charcoal in here. 
uh, and we need to prep it with say uh, we've got eight say 40 um, 40 of these uh, 40 filter frames um, what's that 5 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I think 40 is probably a good amount to prime it with. Uh, that'll be five each. Mm, maybe 10 each. Uh, no, five each should be fine. All right. Uh, we do, of course, need to connect the power across to it. Uh, we also need to get our mineral oil, our mineral oil in, which I think is right here is, that's not how we do it. That's not how those things work. Um, here is a good spot for it. Wonderful. All right. Uh, what do we got? Purified water. Let's get some purified water in. I know we've got a lot of that floating around as well. You know, run that there like that. Uh, that's mineralized water. And purified water is right here. Purified water is right there. And that is, uh, yeah, that's hooked up. To where we need it to be. Uh, let's go. Let's go there and there and there. All right. Some of that and some of that. Purified water. Let's double check that. Yep. Purified water. It says it. it says it on the tooltip. Must be right. There we go. Purified water in. We got slag slurry in, we just need the charcoal filters, uh, which we actually need the charcoal for. Uh, is 40 enough? Maybe I should go up to 80. Uh, let's just grab a, charcoal is a long way away. I should, I should probably do some local generation of charcoal. Uh, it's just not, it's just not, uh, just not that easy. It takes up a lot of space uh, and we are already producing a lot of it. But that, this is a long way to run to pop down some charcoal. I've got to say, I've got to say. And this is probably going to chew through it pretty, pretty quickly. There we go. All right. So now you're away, you're away, and you're away. Uh, we should also put in another tank. We should also put in another tank. Uh, where is my tanks? There we go. Uh, not all corners. There we go. Just a regular, regular old tank, please. And uh, let's put it on its own little island. I like the idea of that. Uh, there you go. Okay. And then, last but not least, we need to get out. Uh, we need to get out this. That's the wrong one. There we go. We need to get this one out. Sulfuric wastewater. Uh, sulfuric wastewater away. I kind of like if I could line it up with these other ones, just because the fact that they're already lined up it's kind of kind of means it's nice looks a bit nicer uh, that's not gonna work is it no it's not and uh, that one might no it won't uh, okay well where is sulfuric wastewater I feel like there's some around here somewhere there it is uh, what can we get to with you oh yeah that seems all right um, how about just about here Drop you up to there and go like that. Now how are you doing? Sulfuric wastewater, whoosh, whoosh away it goes, wherever it's going. Um, it's going somewhere. It's going into there. Yep, sure. Uh, how's that? I think we're also using it elsewhere as well. Uh, we are using it if I recall correctly, uh, to make blue algae. Yeah, we are. All right. Uh, I don't think we're clarifying it anywhere, but I don't think we need to at this point either. Um, well, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. This is a very good start. Uh, we now have uh, we now have eight of these, each producing uh, 50 mineral sludge. That's 400 mineral sludge. Uh, that's with a crafting speed of 1.5. That's 600 mineral sludge uh, every four seconds 150 mineral sludge a second should have known that because it was 100 it's using 150 uh it's using 150 slag sorry yep so we're making 150 mineral sludge a second uh which is wonderful uh next episode we're going to turn that 
of course, into materials. Uh, and each of these is, well, four of these is you is four of these uses. No, not four because it's a crafting speed of 1.5. We'll have to do the, the numbers specifically. Uh, but we should be able to get three uh, three of these will use about 25 a second, which we can have uh, six. So we should be able to get like 18. 18 filtration uh, crystallizers off our setup. Should be cool. All right. Uh, we're going to need a lot of stuff to make the crystallizers, of course. Uh let's uh let's do the math now so we can uh so that we can prepare uh no we're at 35 seconds uh, 35 minutes i'm just going to end it uh, i'm pretty happy with our progress this is a really good amount of sludge uh, we definitely do not have enough uh we definitely do not have enough uh crystal filters uh filters let's make another 40 uh because it's only getting halfway i think we should probably just make up to 100 uh let's make uh, what do we need? 60. Let's make 60. Let's put some boxes in. Uh, that, that is getting very low, isn't it? Uh, let's make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's, uh, that's 40. 8 fives are 40, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Another, another lot of them. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, which is the important side for a box? It's actually it's this side. Alright, we put a box there. Uh, that's unfortunate. Pop that one, one bit lower. Uh, yeah, so the output, the output is, uh, shouldn't back up because we, we won't have enough yet. We don't have enough to, to back that up. All right. Uh, but it does mean that the input is a little bit better. And I'm going to go and, uh, just chuck everything in there and then go fill up with some carbon and, uh, Make sure that we have enough to keep us going through uh, a couple of episodes. How are you going? Uh, yeah, you're actually uh, getting a bit light on. Um, I did just grab a huge stack last time. Uh, I think I might have even taken too much to fit in a box over here. But we've got other boxes. We've got other boxes that need it. Uh, we've got other boxes floating around that need it. Uh, this section here, it's going to keep going for a while because it's honestly the only way we're actually producing anything uh for the moment so let's pop all that in there and look just for safety let's pop the rest in there all right uh i feel like this needs to be uh probably a faster inserter too uh, what are we missing iron because i turned it all into uh other things uh yeah okay iron uh we've only got 3k iron remaining Yes, uh, yeah, stack inserter. That's what we need over here. Just just to make sure that we are clearing that as quickly as possible. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah. The end. The end of the episode. Yeah, so as I said, next episode, let's turn this brand new, beautiful looking uh, slurry selection into some... Uh, into something fancy. We're going to go for some single ores. We're going to go for some single ores. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, we're going to start with iron. We're going to do two lots of iron because I want one to go straight into steel because our steel production is really low. But, you know, we're going to talk about all that tomorrow. As always, a huge thank you to my, to my uh, patrons. And I will see you tomorrow.